Tanner, Daily Express. Um, just back on Joe, I think you described it before as possibly the hardest decision you, you've taken in your managerial career. C can you explain why? Because it's a uh, relation we had, the short time we had, it always was one of the most professionals. I know how tough is for the fans, for the people, because he was an incredible keeper and incredible results here in, in the club. And that's why it's not easy. It was not easy for me to, at the end, to take a decision. To how he react. Normally, the players think in himself, in himself, in himself, and after in himself. And being not easy for him, he put a little bit in my position. He made sure that he understood perfectly. So that's why I appreciate a lot, and him, and his agent, and his people, the you know the behaviors. I think. He's a part of this history and you never know what's going to happen when he's going to retire. Almost normally when these kind of things happen, always the opens the the the, the doors of the clubs they are all open for this kind of behaviors and this kind of people. So that's why I wish him I said privately and of course publicly I wish him always the best. But just one more, just looking back, it was the right decision in your mind, the way you wanted to play. I'm not I'm not always taking a decision was right or not right. That is, doesn't count, so you have to take it. I made in my career good decisions, very bad decisions. So, but the moment you have to take it in the right moment, the right time. So you never know. I took a decision here in the club, and after regret, that is what it is. And that's 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 happened. We have to take all the managers' decisions every five minutes, and important sometimes because it's not about just the football, it's the professional, the human beings. So sometimes it's not easy, but it's what it is. Hi, Pat. Just going back to the Liverpool game and everything that was said beforehand about um, your record against Klopp and Liverpool against City and that kind of thing. Obviously, the result wasn't the same as Chelsea last season, but in terms of the performance and maybe proving people wrong and proving to the players that they can do that, was is there the same kind of psychological benefit to, to go to Anfield and show that you can play that way? Is that another step forward for the team? Yeah, maybe. We, we, we're going to see in the future when we're going to face them or play in the future. But of course, so 40, 15 years old, no win there. We were closer than I think than ever to win the game. But uh, we didn't concede too much except the first 10 minutes, the first half, 10 minutes, the second one. We were the, the rhythm was a little slower than than usual when you play against against Liverpool. But it was just a game. I have to recognise they played in a tough, tough schedule, fixtures before our game in terms of playing against Chelsea twice and playing Napoli. So it was quite quite tough for them and, and maybe they were tired, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, going to Anfield last season we, we, we lose there in the, in the Premier League and we took one point. So we were close to win the game but this is what it is. So important is the performance was quite quite good in the terms we, we thought the game we should we should play but hopefully next next time we play against them we can do a little bit better in front and create more chances than we create during 90 minutes but we cannot forget how tough is Anfield not just for us for all the contenders and there is a team at uh, home that scored three four five goals every single game and we didn't concede too much that's why it was quite good just a quick one on Philippe Sandler um, he's back in training. Yeah. What, what's his role going to be in the squad? Is, is is someone who can play in League Cup games or is alone more likely? Well, we will see. So we, when we contact with him, we loan him. We we decide to take him. Uh, we thought, okay, he's coming to the preseason stage. We're going to see him, and after that, we're going to decide to stay. We're going to, you know, lock him. And unfortunately, he was injured. He could not see him. And now we start. He trained two training sessions with us. So we have to evaluate him. How is the level? Of course, now he cannot be lonely. It's going to be us every day. It's going to improve. We are going to learn of him. He's going to learn of us. And, and after going to decide to play sometimes the second team to take a rhythm. And in December or in, Jan or in June, May, June, you're going to decide. Now is his time to convince us, you know, on the pitch. If he has level to play with us or we will see. He's a young player. He has uh, potential in some aspects of the game. Has to improve in other ones. But we will try to help him. Hi, Pat. Um, Thierry Henry mentioned in the week that he's been able to kind of watch you 
and how you work quite closely. I wonder whether he'd, he'd been into the CFA to watch any sessions. Him? Yeah. He's always invited, all the managers are invited. We, we receive many phone calls and mails for the people and when you have time, I'm always open to to do something. But I think he knows us, you know, because it's quite similar what we have done in Barcelona with Didi. We were together two amazing seasons. It was a pleasure to work with him, but he's busy too now. Now he's not just a pundit, so he has to work every single day. So, But if he has time and he's tired for the nice weather in Monaco, he can come here to enjoy our cloudy days. But he's, but he's, not, be, he's not been here already previously? No. No. No, no, no. I just wanted to ask about the kind of the next two weeks. Obviously, the games are starting to pile up again every every three days, and there's a difficulty of the the Tottenham game uh, and then Fulham afterwards. Are you starting from tomorrow? Are you looking at kind of a bit more rotation and managing the players, mindful of the matches that are coming up? Well, I think except maybe few few players, they play. Everybody play a lot of minutes, so. Nico play, Vincent play, John, Maime, some... Yeah, you, you know my opinion, so of course I have a little bit one eyes in Donetsk, but with anything too much, we're going to suffer against Barley. So we have to try to, to put the best side we believe right now, thinking how they come back for the international games, for the, some players recovery quicker than the other ones. We're going to see. The way we have to attack Shakhtar is completely different. The way we have to attack against Burley because they defend completely different in some aspects. So, yeah, we put on the table some thoughts and after we'll see. But everybody was involved this season. So, someone more than the other one, that is always happened. But everybody played minutes. Everybody. Now it's, they have to convince me when they play that minutes if they deserve to, you know, to be there. Hi Pep, good afternoon. Caio hey. Carrieri from Wall, from Brazil. Brazil. Uh, as a person very engaged in politics and a Barca legend, how do you see when Ronaldinho, a Barca legend, is backing a far-right politician extremist in Brazil to be president? No, I don't know the situation. It's a question for Ronaldinho. So Ronaldinho remains an important person in Barcelona history, but not just in Barcelona history. I think in the world football. So I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Yeah, hi Pep. Um, one or two reports this week about a possible new contract for Leroy Sané. Is that something you're going to? Uh, yeah, the club are working on that. Yeah. Yeah, and obviously you're, you're, you you would encourage them to get that done. No doubt. Yeah, Happy yeah. with his recent performances. Yeah. Not for the recent performances. So we are not going to extend the contract for one, you know, for one player for the recent performance. Or we are going to now extend the contract for Raheem because they scored two goals against Spain. So, so we value the quality of the player, the human being, the relation with the club, how settled it is in that position, how he's young, older. So many things. That is what is important. Up and downs, moments better than the other ones. That, that's normal. That's happened. Just to help in the bad moments, to let them understand how consistent must be their careers to be better player. And after the challenge, we'll see, you know, accept it or not. So, But of course, I said many times, so it depends if play more or less, or sometimes we need one type of game, and sometimes we need another type of game more quicker, more the counter-attack, more the control, less control, after we decide. But there's no doubts about the quality, Leroy. Hey, Pep, um, you've not lost a league game while Kevin has been injured. Um, how do you think the team have coped without him? I think, I think Kevin knows more than anyone else how important is the team to be a stronger team for for after help the individual performance to you know to grow and and to to increase so i would have preferred to have kevin these two months so since the last game against southampton in the last assist to gabriel we achieved 100 points he couldn't play one minute with us so it was in the world cup late and after emil was injured so it's what it is the important is the the team is uh, was quite stable it was solid in, in many you had the points okay, quite good, because we cannot forget the ways we played especially way, but 
Now he's come back, part of them. You have to fight, play good as possible to be part of the team because the other ones also play good until now. So we'll see what happens. Okay, thank you.